Most people don't really understand that when we burn fat, you don't really understand where that fat goes. So you exercise or you go on a diet and you lose weight. Where'd that weight go? If we look at the chemical equation, here's the formula, the molecular formula for body fat. We have carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens. When we talk about burning fat, we talk about that molecule combining with oxygen. This is oxygen gas, the oxygen gas that we just breathe in. So we breathe in oxygen and a series of reactions happen and the oxygen and the fat, they're converted into carbon dioxide and water and we end up with some energy as well. So when we burn fat and lose weight, we're actually just breathing it out as carbon dioxide in water. Many people think that we excrete it when we go to the bathroom, but really we're combining that body fat with oxygen gas when we breathe in and we breathe out carbon dioxide and water. You do this enough, you lose weight. Sometimes you'll hear people say that fat is converted into energy, and that's not really quite what happens. The atoms, they don't change. We should have the same number of atoms on each side if we balance the equation, like this. So this is the balanced equation, and now we have the same number of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms on each side. The energy, that comes from breaking the bonds here, combining with oxygen and forming these new chemical bonds. That gives off energy but we haven't actually destroyed any atoms that would violate the law of conservation of mass. If you don't believe this, you might think about cars. What happens to the gasoline we burn in our cars? It actually leaves the exhaust pipe as carbon dioxide and water. The energy, we use that to move the car. So in answer to our question, when we burn fat to lose weight, the fat is actually leaving our body through our lungs as carbon dioxide and water.